Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Hello. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? What about your weekend? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Good, so, so. It was good. It was good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Is it raining where you are? Yes, right now it's raining. It's raining a lot. No. Right? Well, here in San Salvador, yes, guys, it's raining a lot. It's raining. Okay, so um, I hope we don't have any issues with the internet. Okay, I hope that we don't have any issue, but okay. So we're going to start with today's class. Espero que han tenido un fin de semana super um, bueno. Okay, and if not, y si no lo tuvimos, pues probablemente este que viene, okay, va a poder descansar. So guys, we are going to start and welcome once again. We are going to start with our class this Monday. So today's agenda, right? So what we are going to cover, we are going to cover the warm up. Then we are going to move to present continuous. We are going to make a review. Um, we also have telling the time. Okay, so we are going to cover that as well. We have a speaking, we have a short quiz, and we have the end of the class. But first, we are going to start with a stop the bus, all right? So we have item in the office, item in the house, and country, yes? I'm going to give you the letter, and you are going to look for an item in the office, an item in the house, and a country that starts with that um later okay so we are going to play with three letters and then we are going to move we are going to wait for the other ones to join okay so but first we are going to start with this dynamic so the first letter we are going to play with is with the letter c letter c okay once you have the the item say stop the bus okay cuando ya tenga los tres me dice stop the bus Okay, so an item in the office, an item in the house, and also a country with the letter C. Stop the bus. Okay, perfect. So let's see, Alexandra. Okay, item in the office, probably huh? calculator. Okay, yes. Uh, item in the house, carpet. Yes. And country, Canada. Canada. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Hi, teacher. Uh, Manuel Alexander. Okay. Perfect. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Alexandra, you get one point right there. Okay. So next letter. Yeah. Next letter with the letter. Let me see. With the letter. Um, let me see. With the letter. P, letter P, okay, so Alexandra, one point, yes, with the letter P. Stop the bus. Okay, Milena, let's see. Item in the office. Okay, item in the office. Um, paper clip. Okay, yes. Item in the house. Um, piano. Yes. And country, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, perfect, yes. 
Okay, one point for Milena. Okay, so um, let me see. Telma. Yes, we are playing a stop the bus, okay? Estamos jugando bachillerato stop, but in English. So, tiene que buscar un item in the office, un item in the house, y un country que comience con la letra que hemos dicho. Okay? So, let's see. The next letter, okay, with the letter, let me see, uh, letter M, letter M. Okay, tell me. Stop the bus, teacher. Okay, let's see. Item in the office. Item in the office, a mouse. Yes. Item, Item in the house. In the house, um, a mirror. Mirror, yes. And the country, Mexico. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Yes, Milena. Okay, the last letter. Okay, the last one. Let's see. Okay, so with the letter, let me, oh yes, with the letter T, letter T. Okay, hurry up, letter T. Stop the bus, teacher. Okay, Milena. So let's see. Okay. I did the office. Mm -hmm. uh, a table. Okay. In the uh, house. Uh, in the house, a tablet. Okay. In a country. Uh, Turkey. Okay. And how do you say Turkey in English? Turkey. 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 Yes. All right. Yes. It is Turkey. Yes. Turkey. Yes. Perfect. All right. So, Milena, um, you get another point. And for today, Milena is going to be the winner. Okay. So, congratulations, Milena. All right. So, let's move. Okay. Let's move and let's start with today's topic. And we are going to make a review about the present continuous, what we covered on the last class. Right. So, guys, grammar focus. Yeah. Present continuous as statements and conjunctions, yeah? So as you can see right here, we have am, um, I'm not, yes? You're, you're not. The contractions, yes? Las contracciones. You aren't. When it's negative, we can say you aren't. Then we have an example. She is wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. She's not wearing boots or she isn't wearing boots. Mira la negativa, la contracción negativa se puede hacer de dos maneras. Yes. So the first one is she's not wearing boots or she isn't wearing boots like that. Yeah. Then we have we're, we're not or we aren't. Mire. Se puede hacer de dos maneras la contracción negativa. As you can see right here. There, we have they are not and they aren't. Yeah, so they are not, they aren't. And we also have it's snowing or it's not or it isn't raining. La contracción, para que usted se fije, negativa, it's not or it isn't raining uh -huh. so 
Um, we also have conjunctions. Yes, we also have conjunctions. ¿Y qué es una conjunction? ¿Qué es conjunction? Well, in Spanish, conjunction is conjunción. When do we use conjunctions? It is simple, very easy. So, we have two conjunctions. Aquí tenemos dos, guys, two. We have and, but. Las dos son conjunciones, both of them. Yes, and and but. ¿Y qué significa and y but? And y and but, pero. Teacher, ¿en when do we use conjunctions? ¿Para qué utilizamos las conjunciones? Bueno, para enlazar ideas. All right. To join ideas. Enlazar. Join. Yes. Unir. Join ideas. For example. Ok. Mire este ejemplo. Ok. Um, it's snowing. Ok. It's snowing. Está nevando. It's snowing. And it's very cold. Y está bien helado. Dos ideas. Ok. Yo puedo dejar mi idea hasta la primera oración. It is snowing. Está nevando. Pero si yo quiero dar más detalle, debo de utilizar conjunciones. Yes. Y digo, it is snowing. And it's very cold. Yeah. So, number two. Okay. I am wearing a coat. I am wearing a coat. But I'm not wearing boots. But means pero. So, but es una conjunción que nos ayuda a crear un contraste. All right? Contrastar una idea. And we say, I'm wearing a coat. Estoy utilizando un abrigo. Pero no estoy utilizando botas. Yes. So, tengo algo, pero no tengo lo otro. So, but means pero. Then, something about grammar, ¿ok? Algo de gramática que espero que no se le olvide. Es lo siguiente. Cuando utilizamos conjunciones y utilizamos dos ideas como las que usted ve en ambas conjunciones, tenemos que poner una coma antes de la conjunción. So, we need to add coma. Before, ¿cómo se dice antes? Before the conjunction. ¿Sí? Tenemos que poner esa coma antes de la conjunción. Es una regla de gramática que le va a ayudar a usted a mejorar su escritura. ¿Ya? Yeah. So, no sé si lo puede ver exactamente en la pantalla, pero aquí hay una coma. Después de snowing hay una coma y después de coach hay una coma. Okay. It is mandatory. Es mandatorio que lo, que lo haga. A medida vaya estudiando más el idioma, va a ir viendo diferentes reglas. Right? So, do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? Something that is not clear? Uh -huh. Something that is not clear, guys? Is everything clear right now? Yes? Okay. So, now let's move. Complete these sentences and then compare it with a partner. Okay, let's do it together. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Okay, so this. My name's or my name is, porque aquí hay una contracción. Okay, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I... Mm -hmm. I am wearing I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I'm not, not, I'm not wearing a rain. But um contraction. Um, okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not wearing. Excellent. But I'm not wearing a raincoat. Very good. Number two. 
It's hot today. Uh -huh. Toshi and Noriko are wearing, are wearing shorts and t-shirts. Excellent. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Excellent. But they are not wearing sunglasses. Perfect. Sunny, but they are not wearing but they mm -hmm. it's very sunny but they aren't 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 sunglasses aren't wear yes they wear aren't wear yes aren't wearing Bernard. wearing yes perfect number three Phil is wearing, is wearing a suit today Okay. Mm -hmm. He he's wearing pants and a jacket. Excellent. Yes. Oh, okay. Rose. Yes, I think that there is probably a delay. Hay como un, un espacio que creo que Rose se le queda. Um, okay, so Phil is wearing a suit today. Is wearing a uh hat. -huh. Okay, so then he is wearing a suit and, today. Uh -huh. And a jacket. He is wearing a jacket. Uh -huh. Okay, then number three, he. Is, he is not is wearing a brown shirt. Okay, he is or he is not. He is. He is. He is, he is. Right? He is yes. wearing a brown shirt, but he is not, is a not wearing a tie. Uh -huh. Okay, but he is not wearing a tie. Tie. But what is what is tie? Tie is corbata. He's not wearing them. Yes, he a is tie. not wearing a tie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and the last one, number four. It's cold today, but Katie is it's not wearing not. a tie. Uh -huh. Exactly is not wearing a coat. She is wearing, is wearing a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, very good. Gloves and a hat. She is not, is wearing, not wearing boots. Excellent, she is not wearing boots. She is wearing sneakers. She is wearing sneakers. Is. Very good. Excellent. So you see? Excellent. Let's move. All right. So now, questions, right? Pressing continues. Yes, no questions. Um, are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Mire las dos negativas. Mire las dos tipos de contracciones que se pueden realizar. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. Or no, they are not. Or they aren't. Hmm. Yes. So now let's see. Question number one. Is Claire wearing a green suit? Yes. Yes. She is. She is. Is uh -huh. she wearing a raincoat? 
Yes, she is. A raincoat? Ah, no, no, no. No, she, she no, isn't. She isn't. Very good. Is she wearing high heels? Yes, she's wearing. Yes, yes, she is. Okay, yes, she yes, is. she is. Okay, very good. Are Toshi and Noriko wearing swimsuits? No, they are no, not. They are not. No, they're not. Perfect. Are they wearing shorts? Yes, they are wearing shorts. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> they are. <laughs> okay. All right. So are they wearing sunglasses? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Very good. Number seven. Is Phil wearing gray pants? Gray pants. Phil. Phil. Yes. She, she, no, he. He wearing. Okay. So let's see. The question. Is Phil wearing gray? Gray pants? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is he wearing a tie? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Very good. Now, is Katie wearing boots? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Is she wearing a coat? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. And the last one, is she wearing a hat? and gloves yes she is yes she is okay so uh, guys la mayor parte de tiempo cuando se le pregunta así como mire todas estas preguntas a estas preguntas se le conocen como preguntas eh, cerradas yes porque es sí o no lo mismo que nosotros tenemos en español las preguntas cerradas y las preguntas abiertas so, in English, it's the same. En inglés es lo mismo. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas abiertas? Las que nos preguntan con las WH. Yes. Cuando nos dicen con las WH questions. Yeah. Estas que vemos acá se conocen como preguntas cerradas. Es por eso que tenemos que responder como yes, she is, or no, she isn't. O sí o no. Yes, teacher, entonces está mal que yo diga, yes, she is wearing uh, gray pants, por ejemplo. No está incorrecto, pero si le estamos haciendo una pregunta con um, preguntas cerradas, es porque solo eh, se le está evaluando como un sí y un no, pero no está incorrecto, ¿ok? Bye. Ok, pero para quizás um, probablemente acortar su respuesta es mejor utilizar yes she is no she isn't okay yeah bye now guys let's choose the correct answer yes what are you doing which is the answer what are you doing Teacher, ahí no veo I, no veo I am. Ok. Entonces, what are you doing? Si usted no ve I am, este otro pronombre significa tú y qué más? Tuyo. Y ustedes. ustedes en plural. Entonces, si, si usted no ve el I am, porque, entonces no le estoy diciendo de usted, le estoy diciendo de ustedes. ¿Y cuál, cuál sería la respuesta? We are. We well, are. Okay. Yes. Ok. Nosotros, porque les estoy preguntando a ustedes y ustedes me responden. Nosotros estamos viendo televisión. Yes. So, cuando usted, cuando usted diga, uy, pero yo no veo el I am y yo sé que you solamente me preguntan a mí. No. Recuerde, el you significa tú o ustedes. Yes, very good. Number two, where's Miss Williams? She's, she's, she's 
in the park. Okay, Miss Williams. Yes, yes Miss, right? What about number three? What are they doing? Excellent. What are they doing? They're reading. Very good. Number four. Mr. and Mrs. Lee. Where are? Where are? Place. They're in the yard. The lugar. Okay. What about number five? Carla. Is, is reading, reading the newspaper. newspaper. Is reading the newspaper. Excellent. Number six. We are studying English. English. We are English. studying English. Perfect. Number seven. He's playing the piano. He's yeah. playing the piano. Perfect. What about? Uh -huh. yeah. Number eight. He's eating. He's eating. He's uh -huh. eating. eating. Perfect. Number nine. They are, they drinking, are drinking milk. 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 Perfect. And number 10. He is listening, listening to music. Listening to music. Very good. Perfect. Do you have a question? Yes. When you put two, o sea, porque no solo dice listening to music. Muy bien. Um, ok, guys. Esa es una regla que nunca se le tiene que olvidar, ok? Um, el verbo listen siempre, toda la vida, va a ir acompañado de tú. Es una regla. Por eso es que usted ve que los demás no llevan tú. Porque listen es especial. ¿Ok? So, listen siempre, siempre, siempre tiene que llevar tú. Por eso es que si usted dice, I listen music, eso es incorrecto. I listen to music. Yes. I am listening to music. Yes, es regla gramatical que siempre vaya junto. Otra pregunta, pero ve aquí cuando se, que va, se pone un verbo y se quiere poner otro verbo, también se pone to, ¿o no? Yes, también. Ah, ok. Yes. Ah. Muy bien. Y no solo es para música, ¿verdad? Me imagino que es para escuchar. El teléfono, conversaciones, siempre es listening to. Exactly. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí. He is listening to the conversation. He is listening to the radio. Yes. He is listening to my mom. Uh -huh. Siempre. Okay. Bye. Very good. Excellent. So now uh, let's move. All right. Let's move. Okay. Let me erase everything. Okay, so now let's start with what time is it there? Okay, conversation. I need two volunteers. One, one is going to be Debbie and the other one is going to be John. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Milena, Debbie, and Astrid, John. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Okay. All right. Pronunciation. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? ¿Qué hora es ahí? What time is it there? ¿Qué hora es ahí? Yes. What time is it there? It, yes. It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. Yeah. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 
4 o'clock in the morning? 4 a.m. Pronunciación de a.m. A.m. Yeah. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. ¿Qué significa awake? Cuando usted dice, uh, ya estoy despierto. I am awake. Ya estoy despierto. ¿Ok? Cuando usted quiera decir, ya estoy despierto, siempre, toda la vida va a decir, I am awake. No va a decir, I am wake, wake up. No. ¿Ok? Wake up es despertar un verbo, una acción. Estar despierto se dice, I am awake. Cuando le manda un mensaje en la noche, todavía está despierto. Yes. Are you yeah, okay. awake? Uh -huh. Are you awake? Está despierto. Are, Are you, you awake? awake? Uh -huh. I am awake. I am awake. Ah, awake. Teacher, yes, you are awake. Yes, eh, depende porque si usted le quiere preguntar a la otra persona, ¿estás despierto? Entonces ahí hace la pregunta, are you awake? Okay. Are you awake? Are you awake? Le dice a la persona, ¿verdad? Are you awake? Ah, yeah. Are you yeah. awake? Y la persona le responde, yes, I am, or no, well, si no está despierto, no va a responder. Entonces, <risa> en este caso, yes, I am, ¿verdad? Vaya. Entonces, y cuando usted le quiere decir a alguien, ya soy despierto, ya que ya se despertó. Porque a veces uno dice, ya soy despierto, mamá. Entonces, ahí dice, I am awake. Gracias. Ok, bueno, well, amiga. Bye, guys. Now, let's move, ok? Telling the time vocabulary. So, expressions, ok? Expressions. ¿Cómo podemos preguntar la hora? Diferentes maneras. Fíjense bien, la primera es la que vimos acá. What time is it there? Y eso significa qué hora es ahí. ¿Ya? Nosotros le preguntamos, ¿y qué hora es ahí? ¿Verdad? Entonces es, <risa> what time is it there? Yeah, what time is it there? Esa es la primera. Now, have you got the time? Hi. Have you got the time? Es como preguntarle a alguien, ¿tienes la hora? Have you got the time? Mira, aquí dicen, cargas hora. Ajá, cargas hora. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, that is true. Have you got the time? Y la persona le dice, yes, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, yes, las nueve en punto. Algo bien importante de mencionar, guys, es lo siguiente. Cuando decimos o'clock, es únicamente para las horas en punto. Es decir, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, etc. Pero nunca 4.30 en punto. En inglés no se puede. No vamos a, no vamos a decir 4.30 o'clock. No. Solo se puede en punto con lo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. ¿Ok? Solo es. ¿Sí? Ya di lo demás, no, no se puede. So, do you have the time? Tenés la hora. Do you have the time? Tenés la hora, ¿ok? Tenés sí. hora. Yes. Yes, it's seven. ¿Ok? Y también cuando sean en punto, solo puede decir it's seven. No es necesario que diga it's seven o'clock. No, no es importante. Pero si usted le quiere decir o'clock, dígalo. But it's not like mandatory. Yeah, it is not mandatory. Then, what time is the meeting? ¿A qué hora es la reunión? Cuando se quiera preguntarle a alguien, mire, what time is the meeting? What time is the meeting? Oh, the meeting is at 10 o'clock. The meeting is at 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we have another example. When is the TV show that we want to watch? Cuando. When is the TV show? Cuando. Por interpretarlo, cuando van a pasar el, el show que queremos ver. When is the TV show that we want to watch? It's at eight o'clock. Yeah. 
it's at eight o'clock. Okay. So now we also have more examples. Let's see, uh, Rose help us reading the, from A, okay, de la A, from A to E, and Edwin from F to I, okay, the last one, F, I. Okay, go Rose. The train leaves at 20 past five. Yes. B, the children come, the children come back. No, perdón, sorry. The children come home from school at quarter past four. Sí, I always call my sister at five to nine. Yes. D, my TV show is at 80, 30. 30. 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. And E, the meeting starts at half past 11. Perfect. Half past left. Excellent. Next. Edwin. Let me see. Hi. Where is hello? Edwin? In the chat, creo que puso que no podía, teacher. No podía. Ah, no lo vi. Ahí dice por la lluvia. Dice aquí por la lluvia. Ah, okay. Okay, somebody else that wants to read? <laughs> okay, go. Oh, se quedó yes. en F, F, F. Ah, okay. The pan open at 20 to 10. Yes. Job closes the doors at, I know what I call it. Yes. Six. 25? Yes. We have lunch at um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? 12. 12. I have lunch at 12. It's 10 past 2 right now. Very good. Thank you, Diana. All right. So now, guys, let's see. Letter A. The train leaves at 20 past 5 by X. Vamos a ir viendo qué significa esto. At 20 past 5. The train leaves at 20 past five. Mm, el tren se va a las ocho y cinco. At 20 past five? O las cinco y veinte. Veinte la... para las cinco. Okay, veinte uh -huh. para las cinco. Okay. <laughs> o a las, a las, okay, no. 20 past five son veinte pasadas de las 5. Entonces son las 5 y 20. Y 20. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. 20 past 5. 20 pasadas de las 5. 20 minutos pasados de las 5, 5 y 20. Yes. The children come home from school at quarter past 4. 4 y cuarto. Ajá. Uh -huh. 4 y cuarto. Correct. Very good. Quarter past four. 15 minutos pasado de las cuatro. Cuatro y cuarto. Four fifteen. I always call my sister at five to nine. Yo siempre llamo a mi hermana cinco para las nueve. Cinco para las nueve. Entonces son. Las ocho cincuenta y cinco. Eight fifty five. Very good. Okay. My TV show is at 8.30. 8.30, right? 8.30. Okay. The meeting starts at half past 11. Siete y media. Mm, half past 11. Yes. 11.30. A las 11 y 30. 11.30. The bank opens at quarter to ten. Nine forty-five. Nine forty-five. Very good. Letter G. The shops close their doors at six twenty-five. At six twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. We have lunch at 12. 12. 12. 
And it's 10 past two right now. 10 past two right now. Han pasado 10 minutos. And, y entonces, ¿qué hora es? 10 past two? Las dos y diez. Dos y diez. Two ten. Dos y diez. Two ten. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, now let's see. When the time is exactly on the hour, y lo que le expliqué antes, okay. So, when the time is exactly on the, uh, on the hour, we use o'clock. Yes. Únicamente cuando la hora está exactamente. Ahí decimos o'clock, pero números 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, y así como le expliqué antes, ¿ya? Yeah? Y dice, we can also just say it's 12. Y quiere decir que también solo podemos decir it's 12. Y no es necesario decir o'clock. No es necesario. Ok. Now, let's see. We also use these phrases to say what time it is. Ok. Lo que estábamos bien. It's a quarter past seven. It's a quarter past seven. 15 minutos pasan de las 7. It's 7.15. Entonces quiere decir que son las 7 y cuarto. Yes. It's half past 4. So that means that is 4.30. Las 4 y 30. It's a quarter to one. So it's 12.45. Yes. It's five past seven. Yes, it's five past seven. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que son las seven, five. Son las siete y cinco. It's 20 past ten. It's 20 to three. Cuando usted quiere decir 20 para las tres, vamos a utilizar la preposición to. Yes. 20 para las tres. Cuando usted diga que son 20 pasadas de las 10, utilizamos past. Yes. It's five to nine. Cinco para las nueve. Uh -huh. Ahora, ok, before and after. ¿Qué significa before? Antes. And, and after? Después. Después. Yes. Entonces, past means before or after the hour. Past significa antes o después de la hora. Past. Después. 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 Entonces, después se dice after. After. After, ok. To means before or after the hour. Señor. Before. Antes. Before. Antes. Ok. Bye. Muy bien. A quarter means 10, 14, 15 minutes, okay? So a quarter means 10, 14, or 15 minutes. Eh, significa 15 minutos, okay? 15, yes, 15. A half means 30, 13, or three minutes. Significa 30, 30, a half, la mitad, 30, yes? So when we talk about the time, yes? Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas hasta aquí? No? Okay. Bye. Vámonos al libro nuevamente. Okay. So, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es aquí? What time is it? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. What time is it? It's one thirty. It's one thirty. What time is it? It's, it's one of five, five or, or it's five after one. Excellent. 
what time is it? It's 1.15. Or, or it's, it's a quarter, quarter after, after one. Yes. What about this? What time is it? It's 1.40. One one or it's 22. 22. Two. <laughs> Excellent. 22. 22. Yes. Yeah. What time is it? It's, it's 1.45. One one or it's a quarter to two. To two. Okay. Two. Yes. Look at these clocks and what time is it? Okay, number one, what time is it? 120. 120? Mm. One past two. 20. I, I, I think that oh. is two. 220. Mira la aguja. No veía, perdón. Okay, don't worry. Yes, I know that is kind of, uh, of a little right. Okay, what about number two? Six. It's six. six. I know. I know. No. Seven. It's six, seven. Okay, it's seven. Seven. Uh, Fifty? No. Sí, Fifty. Cincuenta? Uh -huh. Yes. Fifty. Fifty. Six. Yes. What about this one? Yeah. Uh, age. 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 Uh, 45? Yes, 845. 45. Number four. Uh, it's 11. Five? Yes, excellent. Number five? It's 315. 15? Uh -huh. Excellent. 315. And number six? It's four. four. Thirty. How? Four. Or 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and two means before. So past son pasadas. Pasadas. Por ejemplo, aquí, it's 20 past 10. So 20 pasados de las 10. O sea, es after. Ya pasaron esos 20 minutos. Entonces son las 10 y 20. Yes. Y después, two means before. The hour. Ok, antes. Entonces, es de, it's 20 to 3, 20 minutos para las 3. No han pasado esos 20 minutos. Eso todavía falta. Entonces, estamos diciendo antes. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Any other doubt? ¿Alguna otra duda o pregunta? Me. me. Yes, yes. En verdad que para... Before, eh, podemos usar to de las dos maneras. Before, to. Yes. Son sinónimos. Pero no. eh, es bien común solamente utilizar to. Pero sí puede decir before. Pero lo más común es to. Thank you. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now, okay, let's see. Uh, the first picture, is it a.m. or p.m.? So it says, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Entonces, yes, it's seven a.m. Now, ¿cómo se dice la doce en punto? Vale, puede decirlo. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. Or la más común, cuando sea la doce en punto, pero en punto, tenemos que decir it's Noon. Okay. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, so that means it's four p.m. Okay. Las cuatro en la tarde son las four p.m. ¿verdad? It's seven o'clock. Al principio dijimos, recuerde, cuando usted dice buenas noches, pero saludo, se dice evening. Cuando usted ya se va a dormir, entonces sí dice night. Yes. 
Entonces, aquí mire, it's seven o'clock in the evening, 7 p.m. It's seven o'clock at night, it's 10 p.m. ¿Ya? Yeah? Y ahora, las 12 de la medianoche, no decimos 12 p.m. No, las 12 de la medianoche ya es a.m. Entonces, it's 12 o'clock at night or it's 12 a.m. O it's midnight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you have any question? No? Yeah. Okay. So now, va a practicar con su compañero. Dicho, yo nunca me aprendí la hora de esta manera porque eso me, me, me cuesta. Hay personas que nos cuesta esto, ¿verdad? Como identificar la hora, sí. Okay. But today you are going to learn. Yes. So con su compañero vamos a dividirnos and you are going to practice. Va a practicar una por una. Okay. Una por una, por unos eh, minutos, ¿ok? Después vamos a regresar para continuar con la clase. Ya casi, pues, eh, se va haciendo hora, pero vamos a practicar algunos minutos con la hora. Yes. Tómale un screenshot, if you want. ¿Ok? Tómale un screenshot y lo voy a mover de salud. ¿Ok? So, here we go. Entonces, one, five, five, forty five. Number one. Yeah, what's this time? It's one, five, forty five. Say, yeah. Five. Ah, five. decir 15 para las 6, ¿verdad? Se tendríamos que decir. Ajá. Sería 5 is quarter to 6. Mm, pero uh, pero el, la hora ya está. Si, si se fija, dice it's quarter, está el espacio y dice 5. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Entonces sería 15 para las 5. Las 5. Para las 5. Entonces sería it's quarter. Iba bien como iba, nada más que en lugar de decir 6, va a decir 5. It's quarter to 5. It's quarter uh, to 5. 5. Ok. Vaya, ahora. Number 2. Sería, what, what you have no. the time? Do you have the time? You have the time? Do you have yes. the time? Yes, it five. is five o'clock. Excellent. Muy bien. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Sería, have you 
Have you do? Okay. Have you got the time? Have you got? Got mm -hmm. yes. Have you got the time? Yes. yes. It's of 20, 2011. Okay. Yes, it's half. Half twenty. Mm, no, son treinta pasadas de las once. How yeah. fast? How fast? Half past eleven. Eleven. Yes, very good. What time is? What time? Time. Okay, so let's see. Number one, number one. ¿Cómo sería la número uno, guys? Vaya. La número uno, eso le va a quedar de tarea para mañana. Ok, eso le va a quedar de tarea porque ya no vamos a alcanzar a hacer todas. Porque es de ir una por una eh, como despacio. Entonces, esto le queda de tarea porque esto, fíjese bien, esto lo llena con lo que vimos aquí. Sí, lo que vimos aquí eh, y lo que vimos aquí. Estas son las preguntas para hacer eh, las preguntas de, de la hora. Mire, aquí está, ¿ve? Si usted se fija, mire esta. What's the time? ¿Qué hora es? Mire esta. Do you have the time? Mire esta. Have you got the time? Es lo que vimos en las diapositivas anteriores. ¿Ok? Mañana le voy a volver a preguntar esto. So, right now, I'm going to take the attendance. Le voy a tomar asistencia. ¿Ok? Please say present. Alexandra Giselle. Alexandra Álvaro Miguel Ana Violeta Guevara Present teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, Este día hasta qué número de lección tendríamos que hacer Fíjese de que eh, según administración sería hasta las 5 entonces, uh -huh. para que, sí, porque como terminamos el miércoles, ellos necesitan de que estén lo más antes posible ya solventes con lo de la plataforma. Entonces, mi recomendación es que terminen hasta el último ejercicio. Teacher. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Otra pregunta. Usted yes. va a seguir con ese horario. ¿Con ese horario? Ajá, o sea, en el siguiente módulo, usted siempre notaría como el, el uh -huh. o ya es I think that it will be different, ¿ok? Creo que eh, va a ser diferente, un maestro distinto. Ah, oh, ok. Yes, ok. So now, ok. Astrid, Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Yeah, he couldn't connect. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Andreina Rodríguez. Claudia. Okay. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Diana Michelle Albarenga. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Alexandra López. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David. Sea. Present. Thank you. Jose Ismael Vázquez. Jose Ismael. No. Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Present. Thank you. Leonidas Edgardo García. Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles Chacón. Present. Thank you, María José Guillén de Pérez. María José. No. 
Mercedes Margarita Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yamilet Reyes. Mirna. Sonia Beatriz Villalta. Present. Thank you. Telma Janet Escobar. Telma. Present. Thank you. Teresa Rosa. Present. Thank you. Vilma Guadalupe Méndez. Vilma. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Present. Thank you. Ok, guys. Just because of the time, solamente por el tiempo vamos a llegar hasta aquí. Pero recuerde, mañana le voy a preguntar esto. Trate de hacerlo usted solito. Si no lo vamos a hacer en la clase, pero trate primero usted. Ok. So, thank you very much for connecting today. I hope you have a good night and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay? Good, good, night, teacher. Teacher. Good, good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Take care.